Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shan. Um, I've just got ready because I'm about to go out for the day. So I thought I'd do a little skincare video with you guys before I get ready. So um, since having Jameson and going back on my pill, I've been having a few little hormonal breakouts. So I'm trying not to wear as much makeup, um, especially um, concealer and foundation. So I've been getting back onto my fake tan. I've been trying this one, the St. Moritz Face and Body Tanning Mist in medium. I tried that out for the first time the other day and I really liked it. So my face has got a bit of colour on it already. You probably can't even see it on this camera, but it has got a bit of colour on it at, at the minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, I'm going to wash my face. Sorry if I sound a bit bunged up. I think I've got a bit of a hay fever today. Um, I'm going to start off by washing my face with this Nivea Naturally Good Marcella Face Wash with um, aloe vera in it. So let's go and do that now. Okay, so face is washed. Ignore the mess behind me because I'm in a rush to get ready. So this face wash I used, it's good, but it doesn't really make your skin feel moisturised after. That it sort of feels squeaky, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go in with, oh, first, actually, because I feel a bit rough today, especially around the eyes. I'm going to use this Olay Eyes Illuminating Eye Cream. Don't need much of this, literally that is all you need. And if I do go a bit red under the eyes, that's because I've got a bit of sensitive skin on my face. It's got nothing to do with the cream itself. Oh. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the Dead Sea Collection Facial Serum Vitamin C. And it has moisturising and brightening elements such a big bottle and this was like £1.99 or £2.99 from B&M not from B&M, from Home Bargains so I've got that around my face and it says to go in an up and outward motion when rubbing it in now I still want a glowy look but without using much makeup so i'm not going to use any powdery makeups today like powder blusher or um setting powder or anything i'm going to go in with this nivea nourishing day cream 20 hour oh god 24 hour moisture and it has natural almond oil in it and spf 15 which i look for when i buy my day creams god it's about gone so i'm going to take a bit of that but also, I use this L'Oreal Paris Glow Mon Amour um, Highlighting Drops. This is very pigmented, so you don't need a lot. It's, it's a really messy makeup but as well. But I'm just going to take a few and drop them into the day cream that's on my hand. Like that mix it together so I don't know if you can see it's got a bit of a glow to it now a bit of a shimmer and dot that around my face and rub that in and then hopefully that will leave with a nice natural glow I'm going to put a little, little bit of mascara on but as for eye makeup that is it I'm going to put a tiny bit of blusher on. You don't need much of this. This is the Emco, Emco Beauty Lip and Cheek Tint in Flamingo Pink. But this is liquid blush. So again, it's not powdery. It's really difficult to get out because literally that is, that's even probably too much. You don't need a lot of this stuff at all. That will do. And then 
just rub that in. And we're gonna it's a little bit of mascara on. I'm in such of a rush. Okay, so a little bit of mascara on. We are going swimming today, so I don't really want to put a lot on. And next, just for a little bit of colour and shine, I'm gonna go with the L'Oreal Paris tinted lip oil in the shade Hot Cerise. And that gives a bit of moisture to the lips as well. So, as for daytime, when I'm not putting much makeup on, this is the skincare that I do. Hello, I am back. It's the end of the day, and I'm ready to take my makeup off that I put out. I've just spotted a spider, and I'm not okay about it. Um, I'm ready to take my makeup off that I had on earlier, and the product I had on earlier. Um, I'm about to jump in the shower and I would normally take my makeup off in the shower and wash my face in the shower but obviously I want to show you guys the products that I'm using so to start with I'm going to go in with this Nivea Rose Care my, I don't know if I'm saying this word right Marcella? 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 I'll call it Marcella 2-in-1 cleanser and toner with organic rose oil it cleans tones and purifies and when it says it leaves skin soft and smooth it really really does I hate I used to use this one which is Nivea again um micellar water but it claims to soothe and hydrate and it does not hydrate my skin it makes it, it does the job of taking makeup off really 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 well but it also does a good job of making my skin feel really dry and like squeaky afterwards so i'm going to use this i'm sorry if this isn't good lighting but it's what i've got at the minute it's currently golden hour so let's start by using that have i got any cotton pads no hang on right i thought i had cotton pads but i don't so we're just going to use this face cloth I'll, i will use it for the soap afterwards but who cares so I'm going to put a little bit onto it and it smells lovely, oh, it smells lovely this stuff, give it a bit of a scrub and then just start to take all that product off that I had on there earlier. It wasn't a lot because I didn't put foundation on or anything but because that um day cream had SPF in it I want to take that off because obviously it's a bit like wearing sun cream um and I want to take that those highlighter drops off that I had and mascara it is coming off and then I've just ran that under the tap to take the excess off Okay, so makeup is off, skin is toned, but I'm then going to go in just in case there's any residue left over. I'm going to go in, I think this is from the same collection because they're both rose care with organic rose water, but this is the Marcella Face Wash. So I'm going to go for my face, a good wash with that. It says that obviously your face has to get it is wet first before you lather it on so that's why I did the um, cleanser and toner first and then I'm going to take that off okay so I'm out of the shower I've got some clean pajamas on and now we're going to carry on with the rest of our evening skincare routine so I would normally put some hyaluronic acid on first, but I've run out, so I won't be doing that until I get some more. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in again, like this morning, with the vitamin C from the Dead Sea collection. So I'll put some of that on. It's quite a uh, thick serum, really.
And then we're going to go in with this um, anti-wrinkle eye cream, this one here, from, I think I got this in a Amazon Beauty advent calendar, and I'm not sure how you pronounce it, um, Struvectin, Struvectin, this one. I've not used it much, but, you know, your girl's got a six month old now, so... I don't get as much sleep as I used to so I feel like I need a little bit of it so I'm going to take a little bit I'm going to put it on the corners of each eye where I would get my crow's feet and when I frown I get a little line there so I'm going to put a little bit there because in the right light you can sort of see a mark where I suppose in a few years time a wrinkle shall appear So I'm just going to rub them in, or pat them in. Right. And then we're on to night cream. Now, I, I know I, you probably should put night cream on it as soon as you go to bed. But if I have a shower in the evenings, I like to put a little bit on then so that when I go to bed, I can just hop straight in bed and I don't have to worry about anything else. So at the minute, I'm using the Q10 Anti-Wrinkle and Firming Night Cream. But as you can see, there's barely, there's probably one, maybe two at a push uses left in that. So I'm going to take that. And when that cream's finished, I'm going to go on to this one, which is the Collagen Anti-Wrinkle Night Cream with Dead Sea Minerals. Again, from the Dead Sea collection that I got from Home Bargains. I think each product was like $1.99 or $2.99. I'll try and link my Home Bargains haul in the description below if you wanted to see. But this is it. It's really good quality. Like the weight of it, it's um, like a matte glass, which... Like this one is only plastic and yet that was a lot more expensive. But we'll go in with this. If you can hear Jameson in the background, it's because it's a couple minutes past bedtime. Ah, and that is it. So if you have watched this video, thank you for watching. Please give this video a like and hit the subscribe button below. Um, I'll see you next time in the next video. Thank you. Bye.